guys, and we're back, and sorry for the last few videos where the mic was low. I don't know why my settings are so weird. I think I forgot to really check the settings on my mic after I um, upgrade my computer and everything. And I did basically on my level got up a little bit on Archer, and same for um, my uh, Arcanist. And I'm almost there of getting level 29 in my Conjurer. That's because I went and did like a bunch of hunting log stuff off screen, off camera and things. So, because it gets kind of repetitive and boring. And it's, I don't, I ended up like basically doing full episodes of just me running around doing that. So, but now we're just doing like quests here. So I'm going to do them on um, Archer so I can get some EXP for that here. So, Mimi Do. Naldik and Vimeli's veteran shipwright, Mimi Doa, seeks someone to travel to Alshan's torch in his stead. What you say? Another initiate, eh? Initiate, you say? Gain lots of initiates these days. Lots of initiates. What day you say it was? Let's see. One second. Just making sure that my audio... Okay, yeah, the audio's still go doing good now. I think it's better now. Now, I reckon this initiate here looking for work. If it is work, you... Is work... Is it work you seek, eh? Well, you need not fret, as I just happen to have a task that needs tending. A dear friend of mine, Rostin something or such, is holed up in the lighthouse on the side of the grip. It used to be that I'd visit the lad once a s night to see how he was faring, but me legs just ain't the same since the gout gun and grab a hold of them. It's the hardest thing about Lollafels is realizing how old some of them can be. This looks like an old man, apparently. I mean, I guess, like, dwarf, I guess. I'd be grateful if you you could check on the candle keep in me stead. Oh, and don't be forgetting to take along four curved jackal f fangs. Tell him they's from Mimi Doa. He'll understand. Alright, gonna ch do a welfare check, I guess. Let's see, um... Offense Taurus. Okay. Failure to... Do the failure to lunge, and then I think I can do the lev quest here. I have to do that on my conjurer, probably. Wafufu. <laughs> what a funny name. Poor Wafufu's food cart is light a few lunches, and she needs help locating the lost meals. Oh, woe is me. I seem to have gone and misplaced four of my packed lunches. Whatever am I to do? I can hear. Atherberm's belly grumble from all the way over here. I can give him that one and save it for another. I'm certain I made enough for everyone, so it must be that I either dropped a few or gave some to the wrong fellows. Oh, did you hear that? It was Atherberm's at belly again. He does not look at all pleased, does he? I must stay with my cart, but if you could search the dry docks and see if you cannot find those lunches, I would. Cannot find those lunches? <laughs> if you can find those lunches. I would be eternally grateful. I might even whip together something special for you. Ah, did you see that? Abram just gave me the evil eye. If those lunches don't turn up soon, I'm afraid he'll come over. Oh, <laughs> that guy over there, I see. <laughs> he might come over here and eat me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> did you steal the lunch, good sir? <laughs> have you seen anything so grand? It pains me that I have to let her go son one day. Oh. My name's Atberm. I serve, serve as foremost shipwright on the Victory, the vessel that lies here before us. She's Naldik and the Melly's first endeavor since the Calamity, and my personal pride and joy. Oh, it's an airship. I think, or no, it's just a regular ship. From the moment of her conception, I've stood beside her, watching as she grew to where she is now. When the girl is finally see her worthy, not only will she be the most powerful ship in the Maelstrom Armada, but she'll serve as a symbol of Limsa Lominsa's return to nautical supremacy. Which is why I cannot take my eyes off these lazy dogs for even a moment. Give the lot a single ilm and the victory would probably be in flames before I could blink. Interesting. Lore dumb stuff. I have no time to do all that. I am going to search for some lunches, I guess. Oh, pack packed lunch? Well, there's a packed lunch. A tin mid mid. Well, Fufu wouldn't be needing one of her pack, one of her lunches back, you say? 
And here I was beginning to think the last had eyes for me. Not that she's me type, mind ye. I like me woman a few hands taller, and a few pawns is heavier, and a few shades bluer if you catch me drift. Mm-hmm. So, one of your kind, right? Or, I, mean, I guess a Mikotic would do, because Mikotic can get really blue, too. I wouldn't I'm mind an extra me- the, it, I wouldn't have minded the extra meal, though. A man can work up quite a craving when he's been pounding, stretching, and shaping street sheets of iron all day. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess there was a couple sailors who got extra lunches. Don't have to go there. Oh, wait. Go up here. Music here totally suits the feet. Really good suiting the theme of a uh, shipport area. Ah, another packed lunch. Can I go through here to go to the other person? Yes, I can. Good. So it would suck if I jumped down and then I realize I have to go all the way back up. Lingster. Sigh, don't tell me you come to collect my lunch. I can see it in them accusing eyes of yours. Sure, I knew right well. Well, that none of these lunches were meant was meant for me. What could, with today being my day off and all, but I never thought little Wafufu would miss just one. If I give back the lunch, would you promise me you'll not mention that it was I who took it? I don't want the last to think I was trying to swindle her, though that's sort of what I was trying to do. But she doesn't have to know that now, does she? Right then, carry on. Okay. <laughs> Wafufu, I got your lunches. Wafufu! I got your lunches! Ow! The crunch of my knees breaking against the pavement. Hey, Wafufu. Please tell me you found the lunches. I swear Atberm has been shifted several paces closer since you've departed. <laughs> boiled boiled boar, stewed dodo, steamed cabbage, a slab of bo stone cheese, and a hunch of day-old bread. Everything a hard-working shipwright needs to maintain his or her vigor. Packed lunch. Here you go. One, two, three, four. You did it! You found all the missing lunches! Now perhaps I can rest in peace, knowing that Atburn won't be indulging in his cannibalistic fan fantasies. At least for today. <laughs> A poor Lalafell being eaten. Oh no! That'd be a nightmare. Like Lalafell being eaten. Alright, looks like there's some. Oh wait, no. Somebody down there. Okay. Ah, oh, good. Sears. Hezkels. <laughs> Naldik and Vermelli's shipwright Hezkels needs help heating his rivets. So many innuendos in this damn game. Let's see. All classes. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting to sell those broad things. When it comes to riveting, you, you could search the realm over, but you won't find none b better than he Hell's Hells, Hezkels. Ten score rivets a bell. I drive twice that if I'm not in me cups. Well, I don't know what all this means. The key to driving rivets proper like is how hot you can get the buggers. The hotter the rivet, the hotter the, the stronger the bond she'll make with the steel plate. Problem being was I to heat me rivets in the forge. They be cold as a dead whore's crotch by the- WHAT?! Give me a sec. Give me a fucking sec. <laughs> They'd be cold as a dead horse crotch by the time I hauled them back to the victory. <laughs> wow. Just why I use the white hot cores of lightning sprites. But as you can see, me supply is running a tad low. They ain't too much trouble. Would you be so kind as to fetch me some? You look as if you could take on a whole pack of sprites with one hand tied behind your ass. Okay. That was a thing. That was a thing. I never wanted to know that's how what a dead horse crotch felt like a empty forge, I guess. I mean, cold dead forge. Or something? Yeah. That was a thing. Oh. 
Hi, Yogi. Morbi Dry Dock's ma yard master, Yugi Honalgi, seeks someone to aid his crew in taking inventory. I'm looking for a strapping young adventurer, good with her numbers to help tally our remaining supply of planks and log, but I suppose you'll have to do. Hey. Now that work on the victory is nearing completion, I need one final count on the n lumber we have, so I, c I can determine if we need more. I already have Raisin M Milzin and Rumio Falimo fa fa start on the tally, so speak with them and see what they found. Then bring me back the exact number of quarter deck logs and four castle planks remaining on site. Understood? Alright, I mean, I'll, okay, I have my um, notepad out just in case if I need the exact, write down the exact number for you. Quarter deck logs. Just finished me count of the cedar, uh, of the cedar mass, and the yardmaster ain't going to like what I have to tell him. What? You'll tell him for me? Well, be me guess then, lass. The victory, being as big as she is, will be outfitted with th three full-size masts and two smaller masts. Each mast will have its own set of five to, f I mean, four to five spars or cross masts from which the sails hang. One need not be sc scholarly from Milvin's gate to know what a whole hell's l worth of, that's a whole hell's worth of lumber. Oh god, these people are like talking tongue twisters for me. And so, oh, just how many mass worthy logs did I count here? Four. Not four hundred, not four score, not even fourteen. One, two, three, four. Fourteen, hehehe, <laughs> like Final Fantasy fourteen. And you could take that to the yard master, but don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, four. I hope I don't have to like actually input a number. Am I getting any items in this? Don't look like it. So he says four, and I'm counting. I guess I counted. Like three piles. Two hundred oak birthing planks. Not one more, not one less. I tell them twice, and then I count them thrice more, just for good measure. We may be in trouble, though, if them shipwrights need any more than what we see before ye. The fires of the Calamity claim most of the trees in old oak wood, and what of those that remain, ye ask? Why we chop them down with the rest to help build the victory? We could, like, let them grow a bit, you know? Or replant some. I trust ye had enough fingers to help yeah, with the tallying. So tell me, what did you find? Hmm, those be grim numbers indeed. The clammy may just uh, be just a fading memory, but it seems we are still far from truly healing. As a salt-blooded Lominsa, and it pains me to say it, but we may have to turn to them tree folk in Gridania if we are to finish the victory on time. Just don't send me there. I, I don't want to be that kind of errant person, please. Alright, let's see. I think the... Lev quest person is up here. Do, 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 do. Yep, there we go. Orawan, the adventurous guild representative for a local lev quest and is seeking an adventure to undertake guild lists. Greetings, adventurer. I'm, I am Orawan, a representative of the guild adventurers guild. As the lev mate stationed here at the Morabi Dry Docks, I'm responsible for assigning the various tasks that come in from the beleaguered locals. The work is not necessarily simple or safe, thus I would first gauge the limits of your abilities by setting you on a trial assignment. Take a moment to peruse the tasks outlined in this guild lev. Do you believe yourself up to the challenge? Most megalo crabs feed on, feed on fish they find in tidal pools or washed up on the shore. There's a variety of crab, however, which prefers the flesh of man over that of marine life. These terrible wave kin are called big claws and must be put down before they injure any more of the Candlekeep Quay's residents. It is almost impossible, however, to distinguish a big claw from a normal megalo crab. That is unless the core of a lightning element is used. When shocked, the shell of a big claw will turn bright red, making it an easy target. Okay. Very well, let's see what you can do. Ah, before you... Again, I have a word of advice. Acquire some cores from the lightning sprites. 
Use the cores on the crabs and you'll soon discover which creatures are are the big claws. You contain the necessary cores. Use these cores on the crabs to identify and simultaneously weaken your GitLab objective. That guy wore the skimpiest outfit ever as he left. And his guild said BL, which possibly stands for boy love. <laughs> I just realized this is actually a, a way for like ships to come in, I guess. That's kinda cool. Must have been like an old port or something. Let's see, we might well let's let's do these quests here first and then we'll do the guild lab. We'll oh, oh there he goes. <laughs> so I realized this and I forgot that this was my uh DOT skill, so so, and this one's like my main skill. Easy peasy. I suppose I could actually do this on my... I might want to actually switch to my Arcanus then. Them. Setting in timeout often when I see two enemies together. Just sit your ass there until the get the enemy running away from its prey. That's all I want from you. Book animation. <laughs> So far, of these th of these three classes I'm playing, I do kind of like Arcanist attack animation. It's kind of fun. Okay, Carbunky, don't be a brat. Thank you, Carbunky. Technically, I actually could do the quest on this character, but I I want to get um, Archer to level 20, please. Because I can't seem to do the next hunting log at the moment on it, because every time I try to kill that damn antelope, I die. I am stupidity. Wait, does it have to be exactly that animal? I wonder. I might have to go back to Denali and really check it out. Hmm. Later. Alright. as much EXP as possible! Oh god! Emmy, I hate you! You are so stupid! Why did you have to do that? You did not have to do that. Bad Emmy. I didn't want to do that. Heal up! Heal up for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, 
just from some ugly motherfuckers, and then when they're enlarged, they're, they're just more terrifying. I did like the tree slug, though, from Gridania. They're kind of cute. Pass the time, I'm sorry. I can't really pause the recording right now because I don't want to like tab out. I really don't want to tab out because I don't want to like come back and then I'm like dead for my own stupidity. Okay, it's almost down. Ready? Oh, redo my damage over time skills. Rinse and repeat. Alright, heal up, heal up. Always gonna be at a at least 80% health. Especially if they try to hit you with one big crit hit. I don't understand why some people are like, oh, I'll, I don't need to heal until I'm like 5% health. I'm like, heal yourself, goddammit! The boss is gonna do one more crit hit and then you're dead. Oh, that's just me. The bungle doesn't even do that much damage. Got only three damage. Yeah, thanks. The bungle do some cool skill. Down. Okay, that did some. It did not. It was some. It's almost down, almost down, almost down. There we go. Alright. Can I wear new gear yet? Oh yes, I can. Oh, I can wear my glasses. I need to do upgrade my gear. Oh yeah, when I was like doing hunting, I saw this, I was like, what is this? This is so cool, do I... Will I yet get to go down there? The salt strand. So weird. Oh yeah, I have to do the guild level over here, so... Alright, so... Let's see. Alright, we'll do this on Conjurer because it's the highest level. Or steal my ass. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, wait, I actually wanted to. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. No, actually. <laughs> I'll do this later. Alright. Well, I'll stay in Conjure for a moment, just so I don't have to get my giblets nibbled on. Nom 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 nom. Please don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> How am I still alive? <laughs> that was probably really fucking stupid on my part. I don't know how I'm alive. <laughs> that was a very really loud crunch of my legs breaking into a million pieces. Hey! How you doing? I can't get right up, right lonesome up here, all alone with naught but the winds chill to keep a man company. Some days I carve jackal fangs to help clear me head of the voices. The voice is calling me back to the great blue. The brownish yellow stain on this tooth suggests a rich diet and carrion. Hmm. What's this? Mimi Doa said ye did he? Well, you tell that old man he needn't waste his last few sons in this realm worrying about 
poor Rosnit Ros Rosnit Zay. Rosnit Zay. I'll carry on as I always have, in the service of the soul sailors, and loan till the day I die. Oh, That's sad. You got a quest for me? Rosnez says, yearns to profess his love to a certain special someone and requires your help to do so. <gasps> I'm... I'm going to be a matchmaker? Oh. You shouldn't have asked me to. Unless the carving help keep me head clear, a bit of company would ease the solitude. Truth is, with each turn of the sun, I creep ever closer to the brink of madness. All day and all night, I dream of someone who might rescue me from this prison. Someone broad and hale, with skin the color of the sea, and eyes I'll suck you in like a maelstrom. Someone like Grim Thotta. It's has been enchanted by her sweet magic since I first saw her. A young lass from the Morby Dry Docks on patrol of the God's Grip. She smiled at me, but I was too e eat up inside by fear to meet her gaze. And now, since her promotion to head watch, she can't be bothered to make the climb. I would tell her how I f it is I feel, but me duty through the sailors. Wait! Might you be- you could tell her for me! I'd make it worth your while. You, you could take her a nice- Lanosian Lily Bell. You think she'd like that? Aye, I reckon she'd like that. Ain't met a woman that didn't like flowers. Oh, what, what didn't like flowers? Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I go for search empty heart for flowers, I guess. Oh, little bridge. Can I jump off? No, I can't. Oh, wow. You can. Damn! I didn't notice this. this they really went all out. They w like actually did like a whole. Wow. So cool. I love that. I'm really, like, loving this game a lot. Just, like, all the effort put into it and things. Alright, say it with flowers. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna go down here first. Gerapino! Oh, what's this? Are they fighting? I have to break them up. Make the twelve. You came along when you did. I'll summon Fiebras. I've been at each other's throats again. It's that damn ale wench. Both fancy the last, and neither is willing to stand aside so that the other may have her. Though truth be told, the wench despises both and only humors them because it is her job to do so. The two are good lads when not in their cups, but I fear that their lust for this girl will end in one of them dead. I've already tried calling them with words, but to no avail. This leaves. T us, but with one solution, steal. I think you're gonna kill them then if you do that, you know? Nah. This will not end well. You have sentenced a man to death today. Let it, that sit well on your conscience. Look, man, I, I, I'm too high level. You're on your own. Azumin. Melvin's gate s field assessor, Azumin, is seeking help to exterminate an unknown pest. What are these things? So these are like gladiator, marauder, paladin, warrior, dark knight, and gun breaker. Excuse me, adventurer. Might have a moment of your time. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Azumin, field assessor from Mil Milvan's Gate. <laughs> God damn it, it's burping again. My work with the Custom House involves the investigation of claims made regarding the unlawful import of restricted items from foreign shores. Recently, there have been a number of petitions made by the residents of Candlekeep Quay concerning a species not native to Vilebrand. If this species is indeed alien to the island, it must be located and destroyed immediately before it is allowed to reproduce and possibly disturb the natural balance found amongst the area's fauna. I would ask that you take this lump of fetid dodo flesh and place it on, on one of the mounds of soil thought to be the nests of the invasive species. The odor should draw forth whatever creatures lurk beneath, leaving them easy targets. Okay. Find things, kill things, profit. Ow! So I looked up about getting like a chocobo, and that would be like level 30. So I'm close to getting to level 30. And then I have to head back to Gridania Bent Branch Meadows to do the quest there. So, I guess I'll do that. Let us switch over to... Let 
do the Arcanist, and then we'll turn in the quest. Fated dodo flesh. With a decent wind, the stench of rotting dodo meat can carry from alms, attracting all manners of creatures. I hope it doesn't attract something I don't want to attract. A hungry creature emerges from its nest! Hey, that's a mightling! Yeah, that's deathly invasive. They're from Gadania. That's not good. I actually was looking around the map, and they're... Like, in Black Shroud, you can actually end up going into heading to Alda, but, like, there's no direct way to head to Mixa Lominsa area. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wait, Earth Smart. Probably not a little. Heal me, self. Kill yourself, girl! Oh my god. I swear to fucking god, you died from this. Give me a better chair. This one's getting old. Is that it? Oh god! An even bigger fight! Well, I hope that will deal with whatever infestation you had there, lady. I should probably clear all of that up. Yes. Hopefully it does. Yes. And now I run back to you, and please tell me you have a quest for me. I mean, don't have any more quests for me when I'm done in that area. This thing are actually kind of cute. I don't know. And here I am, dissing on dodo birds. Thabnar Thabnarian mites? We have collected eggs from cargo carried on ships hailing from Rats Atan before, but always in Limsa Lominsa. There are no records of sh ships traveling to or from the Tiling Island nation making stops here in Candlekeep Quay, nor would they ever need to. Unless, the mites did not come from a ship that laid anchor here, but from a different vessel. One with more heinous motives. I believe this will require more further investigation. I thank you again for your assistance. Perhaps I may require your service again in your future. Uh, I hope not. I want to... Alright, good. I don't need you. My duty is done. You don't need me here anymore. Wait, what's in west? Oh. No. Doo -doo -doo. Auto run. Almost leveled up. That's pretty good. Level four, 15, then I can do um, dungeon stuff, so that should be good. Mm -hmm. Please don't tell me I can climb this thing. What's in here? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. I guess I do kind of have to- oh... Okay, okay, go up here at least, that should help. I'll have to search for flowers. There we go. La Nocian Lily. No, don't want to be part of this. Dawn of birds! Wah! Fuck! Air creature's been drawn to the scent of the lily bell! No! Oh god! Oh. It's like... Oh god, that was a jackal, I would've... How? I might not think of... Er... Crap. Oh god. Please don't kill me! No! I don't want to die, I'm too cute to die. Shit, shit, shit. HEAL! Why are you not healing? God, daughter, you are trying my patience at how stupid you can honestly be. Well, I can always use an EXP. Give me your EXP! Okay. Oh. Wait. 
Uh, oh, okay, I got the... Okay, I have to go back there. Okay. Alright, time to do that. Good luck. Do -do -do. Bye, Bunky. You are such a brat. Oh no, the dodo's being attacked! Who? Someone should go save it! Fuck that dodo. Them so much. Why do I hate them? I just do. Alright. Use lightning core to reveal the cheese. Feed it big lightning sprites. Where are the lightning sprites? Oh, there's a lightning sprite. Those weren't look at the ones that are on, the, on my requirement. Right? Wait, what? Where's my is that other one? Yeah, there it is. I've killed that one. Yeah, I know. Stop complaining about that fate. I'm not going to take a part in that fate. Fuck it. White hot cores are sometimes used by fishers to stun fish so that they float to the water's surface, making them easier to catch. Oh. Wait, how do I... How do I... How do I... There we go. I was like, are you not... Oh, it is a big... Oh no! It's so big and scary, I could never defeat it out of my level. Just have to hopefully get the right one, because I would like to. Or I have to kill another one of those damn sprites. I mean, not range. Stand right on its ass, I see. Oh, come on. The pain. Excuse me, pardon me, out of my way. Keep killing that. Oh no, the poor dodo is dead. <laughs> there we go. Alright, you are the last one. I think. Hopefully, these will be the last one. I have to test this all out. Oh, I got little eyes on it. What a cutie. It's not moving. Did you... Did you... S Stay still. At least you don't waste it, but still. It's, that's kind of annoying. Did your thing. You happy? Complete the task, have you? Then you need only to collect your reward. Pony seven, blah blah blah. Pony seven, blah blah. Speed of completion. Yay! Level up! You have prepared an there, but I have no qualms about signing you further work. My foot maelstrom war strip under construction here, the military is eager to keep the dry docks safe and secure. They'd be glad to know a stalwart adventurer like you is around, cleaning up these problems one at a time. Yeah. No thanks, bye. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, let's see how we're going. Oh, 39 minutes. Alright, that's a good place to stop. 